pardon me, while I heal. Very handy. Great. survive that hit. Man. Good thing I saved. Hey, this guy again. Okay, that's a load screen repeat, but hey, it's a cool one. That's a bummer. I'm not going to bash my head against this too much, but I feel like I could have taken those guys down. Petty soul gem, parentheses, petty. Filled with petty soul. jerks down here. Hmm. I do have my Berserker Rage. I think I will... I'm gonna use that when the time comes. It's nice that I can heal. Okay, that's my Berserk. That's what I'm talking about. Before it runs out. Come on, people. Man, he is like barely scratching me. Things are so weird. Dwarven oil. Greater soul gem. I think those are worth a lot. Anybody else? This looks... Well... There goes my Berserker Rage. That Berserk was like super powerful. I, I did a lot more damage and um, I took a lot less damage. Is this like a puzzle here? I believe it is. Surely no Orc could get through a puzzle of this complexity. Valve activated. And now I'll break that. This can only mean good things. I wonder where I'm going in this game, whether I'm gonna have to go all the way back out. Hey. hey. There we go. Hey, that's an interesting. 
interesting looking shield. supposed to take all that stuff. Whoa, wow. I don't think I'm supposed to be here. Uh, yeah. That is a freaky looking dude. But turns out he is vulnerable to uh, two-handed swords. So, what is this place doing under a bandit camp? Nice block. guys aren't that tough. They're a little tougher than tougher than bandits, but actually, oh man. Uh, pardon me. I'm gonna drink a bunch of potions. This guy. Oh man. Not good. Not good at all. <laughs> yeah. That worked. I'm gonna heal up. Oh man, there's another one over there. Does it let you? Let's see. I think it it doesn't like prevented me from saving in the middle of combat or anything like that. Uh, but maybe if you're right in the middle of a fight, you can't. Is there another one? Yeah, I thought there was another one. Nice thing about those critical strikes. Charus eggs. Whoops. Man. It's a cool, uh, cool area. I feel like I shouldn't be here. Shoot me with arrows. Oh man. You. Can't shoot me while I'm hiding. That's called Halo style. Um.
That's like Cthulhu down there or something. I have no idea what's going on here. That's another one of these guys. <laughs> I don't know what he was trying to do, but I do know that it didn't work. Um, weak poison. Whoa, I don't know what the... I don't know what the hell that was. It's something not good. It's like a trap. I don't know. I'm gonna try to save. Is it gonna let me? Right in the middle of a fight, huh? Alright. Two-handed swords. They work. Ew. Pretty gross. Pretty gross. Harvest egg sacks. Sounds lovely. And deeper and deeper we go. Okay. That is an indication to save if I have ever seen one. I think that's just one of their little huts. Yeah. Thought it was like a giant, like, crazy worm sticking out of the ground. Nice block. Six more two-handed sword points. Who's shooting those damn arrows at me? These archers actually hurt a little bit. They're... Oh, man. Yeah. Oh. Ow. Owie. Right in the back. It's a good shot. Isn't that the dragon that comes with, like, the collector's edition of this game? I think it is. Um, all right. Let me see what I'm going to do about this this time. Helps to have a little bit of cover. High ground advantage. Yeah, these guys hurt. Man. I'm not sure how I'm gonna gonna rush the guy on the left up here Ow. heal I'll use them what the hell no more potions that'll simplify That looked really painful, whatever I just did to that guy. Yeah, those arrows hurt. I will collect them in case I decide to take up the bow later in life. could probably use a bow to kill a mammoth more easily than my two-handed sword here. Hello. 
You can't shoot me through that, can you? You can. Okay. Unfortunate. One thing I wouldn't mind using a perk on... I'm using that healing spell a lot, so let's see if there's... Half price, I just... Overcharges, okay. Restoration, dual casting. Dual casting. Oh. Healing spells, that's kind of... <coughs> That's what I was thinking about. Healing spells cure 50% more. It's pretty valuable. I will consider that. Let's deal with this jerk. That's how we do it. A button in Skyrim? Oh, no way. Is this what I... Okay, never mind. The button started, like, spamming. I thought it was, like, on, on a timer, like a portal puzzle or something. My lock picking is not that awesome. Oh. Go. Gotcha. Level up. Let's. Mm, I don't know. I'll do magic or whatever. I'm min maxing my dude around two handed weapons, but um, I don't mind being more balanced as far as the stats go. Sixty. Sixty. I just need to get up to fifty there. Maybe I should pick one of these heavy armor ones. Yeah. Yep, I'll do this one too. I believe I'm wearing all heavy armor. Sorry. Apparel. Iron. Heavy. 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 Alright. I should have a crap load more armor. Whoa. I like. Oh, cupboard. Fire resistance necklace. That's good. Armor helmet. Dwarven oil. What do I get rid of? I don't have that much stuff. That weighs a lot. Uh, it's only worth 185. I don't need it. Plenty bow of sparks. We get this stuff. Weigh what weighs a lot? Steel mace. Two 
two pickaxes. I don't need two pickaxes. Guess I no longer need this helmet. I think it's worth kind of a lot. Resist frost shield that might come in handy. Okay. Whoa, is that like... That might be really good armor, I can't quite tell. Counts as heavy armor. The boots are the same. Gauntlets are better. Helmet is worse. Looks pretty badass, though. get rid of it because I don't want to carry it around. It has been very lucrative massacring these strange people. Glowing mushroom. Whoa. Eh, I can make that. I can survive that. <laughs> I opened a door back here. What is behind it, do you suppose? More Felmer? That is my guess. More Felmer, I'm right. What do I get? I get to kill more Felmer. Is there one lurking around over there? got uh, pick those heavy armor perks I seem to go down just as quickly as usual it's hard to say I think there is um, there is a place where you could just see your stats hey I've killed 92 animals so far it's good to know 60 people 14 creatures two undead what was the undead that I killed I guess there was that wraith thing Daedra, automatons. Lots of critical strikes. Brawls one. Hey, I want a brawl. Bunnies slaughtered. That's mean. It's mean to remind me that of the bunnies I have slaughtered. All one of them. Total lifetime bounty. Um, I was wondering if you could see just your own stats. What a... Man, I whiffed hard. That was terrible. What? I have no idea what killed me. Look at that guy. Badass looking. Makes me want to be a backstabbing thief. Okay, so these guys are giving me some trouble. Try luring them out. They're like poisoning me. Oof. This is not good. Um. Let's see. Change of plan. Oh, look at that guy. Spriggans. I guess it's not a guy. Took me a little while to notice. Can't use that, but I can use, potentially, this my little serpent stone ability. Let's see how that... 
Hadouken. I will murder you on the ground while you are stunned. No, don't, don't do it. Hold on, before you kill me, let me just use, oh, I'm totally out of healing potions. Um, damn, I don't know that there's anything I can do. I can eat a whole bunch of food. That's what I can do. That is my plan. Carrots, check it out. Look at my health go. Clam meat. What do I have that, oh, dude, goat cheese. 15 points of health, look at that. Um, apples. Let's see back stamina. This gives me regeneration, all right. That should be more than enough. Maybe not. Oh. <laughs> well, at least I died on a full stomach. That um, poison, that crazy poison skill of mine worked out pretty well there, though. I bet I could do this better. I can equip it. These guys seem, they're, they're still called Thalmers or whatever, but they seem way more powerful. Ah, oh, man. Maybe it's just the weapons they're using. Oh, yeah. They have some kind of poison weapons because after they hit me, my, my health uh, continues to drain for a little while and that's why I just sometimes get hit and drop dead. They're not kicking my ass so hard that I don't feel like I can beat them. I feel like I can do this. Um, it's just a question of how. I think I just, if I just kill the first guy fast enough, then then I can kill the second. can also try doing super cheesy stuff like this. Yeah, what's up, jerk? The other guy can't get, hmm, interesting. Where the hell did he go? Yeah, yeah. This is more like it. After I was, uh, no, it's nice actually after just rocking bandits for so long, something a little more challenging. Um, it's probably not that awesome to watch, I admit. It's, uh, it's just seeing me get destroyed by the same two guys over and over, but it's making me think. This is the power I wanted. I'm gonna try a different tactic this time. Okay, I've got this well. I can kind of keep him. Keep his buddy in between. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, that guy, no wonder. That guy is like. He's a Falmer Skulker. That's like a better Falmer, I guess. Whew. Man, oh man. I, I promise not to just do this for the next six hours if it continues to go really badly. That's a cool axe. It's a nice axe. Hmm. 
let's think here. I have scrolls also. It's undead. Yeah, let's do it. I don't know that these guys are... And by let's do it, I meant try to tank them and fail again. Look at that sword. That's like what I'm working my way up to in this game. Um, I'm going to try the sc scroll of mayhem on them and see what that does. See if it causes them to... Okay. Excuse me, I'm going to use the scroll on you. Wait. How do I use? A is to use. Oh, I... that work? Oh god, I don't think it was. That's like a casting time. Dude, hurry up. Man, that takes a really long time to use. Okay. <laughs> okay. The important thing is we're learning together. Making progress. See? Leather bound giant Braveheart sword. Um... Okay. Scroll of Mayhem. Hadouken. Work, damn it. He canceled it, didn't he? Oh, that's horrible. Here, just kill me. I don't even care. Yeah. Um, I'm The thing I'm doing is I'm trying to activate them before I use it because I assume that its range is really short, but maybe the range on it is pretty long, so that's what I'm going to try now. Using that scroll while these guys are still out of reach. That is a long casting time. Oh, now I have it, like, ready or something? Are they mayhemed? What did I just do? Nothing? Oh, they're fighting. That's cool fight each other. Oops. Oh, noes. Keep fighting each other, jerks. No, 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 no. Not me. Kill your friend. He hates you. Damn it. Okay. That was progress, though. if you accept that either killing neither of the guys is a form of progress. That looks like oblivion. All right. This time, I will create mayhem. Hadouken. All right, now will they fight each other? What the, okay. Well, this might be... I think that totally failed, but what it did do <coughs> was I managed to pull only one of them, and I think I can take one just fine. You. I think that's like a disembowel or something really filthy there. They have like mud crab weapons. That's kind of cool. See that? It's like a weird crab leg axe filled with delicious crab meat, no doubt. Um, yeah, and his homeboy over there is just hanging out. And thank you for your patience as I bash my head repeatedly against the same enemy, but have I mentioned I've been playing Dark Souls? I'm kind of in the mood for that sort of thing. I 
think I can, uh, did I save it? I'll save it again. I did save it, yeah. Totally losing my mind. Come on, jerk. Yeah. That's how we do it. Ow. Oh no, another one. Damn it. Whew. I think, in fairness, I probably would have died even if the other dude hadn't come around. That, that, that one guy is tough. But I shall not give up. Oh, come on, you jerks. Come on over here. There you go, combat music. Oh, how could I miss? They're hard to hit. Maybe this, yeah, I'm close to, I'm close to giving up on these guys, but I've gone super far in here. Um, there are a couple of other things I can do. Yeah, okay. I didn't want to do this, but I will. Maybe you know what I'm doing. I think I will only need maybe that long. that work? I think it did. If I wait long enough, get my Berserker Rage back. And keep wait a little longer. It's not clear that that did anything. Yeah, it did. No. I don't like to... It feels weird to, like, pass time in these games. I know it doesn't really matter. Like your character doesn't get older or anything, but something about it feels feels wrong. Um, I see. So it's ticking down. I'm not sure at what point my ability is going to regenerate, but. That's kind of nice. It's not instant. I, I actually kind of like that for for some strange reason. Pardon me while I wait even longer for my Berserker Rage to recharge. This is my sort of last cheese tactic. Um, there. Because this has proven to be very powerful in the past. Circuit Rage. I suppose I should uh, keep massacring guys while I still can. It's a little bit of insight into my playing style. I will try to play fair. If that doesn't work. Hey, human flesh. Is that really... Is that really human flesh, people? I, I can't confirm that that is the case. That is a pretty rad sword. Man, that sword is actually more powerful than the thing I'm using. Um, but it's not two-handed. I'll take it anyway. Man, I'm in way over my head in this crazy dungeon thing that I'm in. A 
what was, oh, I didn't know what that crazy green light was. I think that was just, oh, shh. Well, it saves automatically, otherwise I would save. It's like a dwarven car wash or something. I have no idea what just happened. But I'm on fire and dead. Okay. The thief. Oh, crap. It's that thing back there. called it wants its bots back whoa I don't know man I don't know put a dent in that guy. Well, um, he does seem slow. Hey, Mayroon's Dagon. I remember him. Peace. He just hurt me really bad with something. One design flaw of the ancient dwarven guardians. They're very slow, and you could just hightail it past them. Um, I wonder where the hell this is going to take me to. Detect. Surely, well, yeah. It's not going to follow me. Can I open that? Dude, please tell me I can open that. Oh, dude. Seriously? Sursly? S R S L Y? No, there we go. I don't know if the rest of you saw that. I didn't see that. Whew. It's good to be out in the freezing cold again. Um, where did that... I don't even... I don't even know where I started and where I came out of. I kind of want to cheese that guy with the stupid Berserk spell. Um, berserk ability is really... Powerful. That's my uh, that's my orc's uh, racial trait. Um, so once a day, I can. How is the ability described? Let's see. Oops, not, not skills. Just under magic. Take half damage and do double damage for 60 seconds. So yes, that is in practice super powerful. Um, I don't remember I don't remember it being that powerful in previous games. I think like if I rem remember correctly, like most of the racial abilities in Oblivion, like a lot of them were pretty weak and it's like who cares? Then a couple of them were decent. Um, but the racial choices were more like it was more of an expressive choice, like do you want to be a cat man or a dragon man? Um, Man. PETA is not going to like this game. <laughs> they don't like any game, though. Except uh, Super Tofu Boy. I guess 
something like that. What is that? So, it is a bunch of gates with like a lever in there. How do I open this? This is a pretty dreary environment, I must say. It is snowing, it's dark. Um, and yet, I'm very happy to be here instead of getting repeatedly owned by Falmer, Skulker, or whatever. That was like the most challenging thing that I repeatedly lost to, but then managed to actually kill, as opposed to something like a mammoth. Um, well. I guess, I guess this is a damsel in distress. Whoops, sorry. Oh, that makes me feel bad. I'm sorry, can I put my sword away and you'll forgive me? Please? Nope. I actually didn't mean to murder her. Um, I'm gonna load. It's my first time using the load feature. It's a cool looking mage. I like the robes. The hair, meh. Not so much. There's the lever. Any restoration magic, I can actually do some stuff. Um, it's kind of funny. See this little, it's a subtle little detail, but when, when you uh, select the different elements on, on this menu, it like slightly moves the background, the screen in the background. And I don't know why, but it's cool. It's kind of like your, uh, your character's eyes switching focus between different areas. It's a nice little touch. In general, the whole, um, you know, I haven't, uh, I've only played this version of the game, which is the Xbox 360 version, so I don't know how the PC interface compares. Um, I haven't read um, the reviews that have gone up today or anything, but I, I'm betting that, well, I don't know. I, I'm sure a lot of effort went into getting the, the interface on console to be good, and hopefully the, uh, the PC interface is good too. <laughs> Don't even want your pelt, Ice Wolf. Kind of want to save that woman again, except not have her kill me this time. And I really wish I could open that gate and throw that switch, but I guess it's just there to mock me. That's cool. I'm heading toward um, whatever I set my quest marker thing to. Actually, I should make sure it's not sending me. Yeah, it is sending me in the wrong direction. Is that like the Foxhound logo there? Solitude. Let's go to Solitude. Forever alone in solitude. Um, yeah. Another thing I promise to do is get out of this uh, depressing snow soon. Hey, that's cool. Probably killed everybody, yeah. How many pricks do I have? One point. I like that screen. It's a lot of a lot of choices 
Um, uh, it's presented pretty clearly, and it, and it feels good to navigate around and everything. I don't have that sense in the game so far of, like, oh, God, there are a million perks I want, and I only have one point. But that may be in part uh, because of the way I'm playing uh, as, like, a dude who murders things with two-handed swords, and I, I haven't, like, found some other weapon that I really want to use or something. Hey, horses. Stormcloak camp. I guess these guys, I don't know if these guys are in inherently hostile to me or what. I'd better save just in case. I will put away my sword and try to make peace with them. And I will steal their horses. Hello! True sons and daughters of Skyrim, tell them to head to Windhelm. Ulfric Stormcloak wants to see them. All right. I haven't done the horse riding yet in this game. Look at this guy. This gets ugly. Okay. <clears throat> Why are you called Stormcloaks? A lot of cloaks. Um, well, I don't know, man. So, doesn't seem like it's a spoiler or anything, but the legion souls are as clean like fresh fallen snow and flanked like fiction. What they head this way, we'll know it. <laughs> push her out of the way to use the anvil. So I guess I can throw in with, you know, either the Stormcloaks or the Imperials. And if the Imperials took the land from the Nords, kind of want to be sympathetic to the Nords and the Stormcloaks. Iron Greatsword. I can make this, but probably just encumber me. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Whoops. How did I go to the map? Um, yeah. I haven't found, like, a ton of different weapons yet or anything. I've been doing, uh, doing just fine with, with my, uh, steel greatsword there. Man, those guys are hanging out pretty close to, like, the headquarters of their hated enemies, I have to say. <clears throat> I'm going to make a educated choice between which faction I side with. Um, Damn faithless Imperials. I'd like to speak to the Imperials. See what's up with that. If they're a bunch of jerks, I will join the Stormcloaks. Or I will try. That is the sound of wolves about to get killed. Yep. Wolves are the mud crabs of Skyrim, even though there are mud crabs in this game.
And uh, by the way, thank you once again for uh, tuning in to Giant Bomb's 12-hour Skyrim marathon. I'm Greg Kasavin, and I've been playing this game for, well, we're more than halfway through. But there, there are a mere five hours uh, or so left to go. Um, the time is actually going by quite quickly. I mean, I've, apart from that crazy dwarven ruin thing that I just went through, um, I don't feel as though I've seen that much of this game yet. I've certainly, like, gone on a tour of the countryside and whatnot, but I played, uh, I didn't play a, an insane amount of Oblivion necessarily. I played, like, maybe 70 hours of that game, but there are people who played that game for, I don't know, hundreds of hours easily. Um, <clears throat> And uh, I think that, you know, Skyrim carries with it a similar expectation of just, like, a game you could really lose yourself in and play for a really long time. Um, and it uh, uh, very much appears to have that quality for real. Um, I like that as I'm traversing, uh, you know, the, the open world that it's been totally seamless. There haven't been any kind of, you know, now loading, hold on, as I stream in the next part of the open world or anything like that. Um, it's uh, really kind of beautiful looking and has lots of detail. Little insects you could catch out of the air and salmon you can catch in, in the river and whatnot. Um, those are cool little touches. Um, there's a, yes, my hated foes, the mammoths mocking me standing around they know I can't kill them yet um, but before this day is done I vow that I will take down a mammoth at least I will try cheese them with my berserker rage or something like that lots of wolves <laughs> Lots of wolves. These wolves are just chilling. Minding their own business, and then I have to go and murder them. Yeah, the music's really cool. As I've mentioned before, I haven't... Uh, I haven't really noticed it repeat or anything and been playing for hours now. So that's that's impressive. Down they go. Ragdoll physics, the one of the saving graces of the last generation of games. No berries. Hey, is that a bunny? I can add to my bunny's murdered stat. It's called a rabbit in the world, but a bunny on the stat screen. Unacceptable discrepancy. If you don't believe me about the bunnies on the stat screen, by the way, um, I can show you. Keeps pretty elaborate stats, combat stats, bunnies slaughtered is the final stat. Um, I'm not sure if it's adding new stats based on like new things I do or whether bunnies slaughtered appears for everyone, regardless of how many you've killed. Um, check out that moose. What's up, moose? Elk, moose, whatever. Look, I live in California. I apologize. The place I'm going, um, there's a little, like, compass near the top of the screen. 
sometimes it looks like I have no idea where I'm going and 90% of the time that is true, uh, but then 10% of the time I'm actually looking at the little compass at the top of the screen and following it toward some sort of destination. It's nice that the um, you know the interface and everything is really minimal, so you can you can just kind of bask in the world of the game if you want. There's probably a way to let's see if there's a way to disable that compass entirely. Not that I would I personally would not uh, play that way, but show floating markers there might be that. Um, Turn that back on. Floating markers might be helpful. You could adjust your difficulty on the fly. Adept is the uh, default. And the controls are fully re uh, remappable, which is pretty cool. Not not very common feature on on console. Double check my map here. So, wow, I'm actually super far from where I want to go. Road, road pass. <laughs> I've just been. Oh, I understand. Okay, I'm gonna fast travel. Cash in this. Well, no, wait. I don't know that I want to do that. Hey, what's this? A boat? Um, where am I going to go? Can I fast travel here? Yeah. I got spun around. I have like two quest markers up, so I started chasing the wrong one. That is quite a dragon. I don't know, when the time comes to like fight dragons and all I have is a two-handed sword, will I be prepared? Hard to say. That was the first time I've used uh, fast travel. Works the same way as in previous games, basically if you've... Uh, um, if you've visited a place before, you can use the map to fast travel to it. Ominous music. Cool mountain back there. Take a little dip. What is that? Hey, bugs. Ah, I missed it. <laughs> the famous abandoned shack, Death Bell. Well, Place your bets. Is anyone in? Oh, can't even go in. Needs a special key. That's a pretty, uh, yeah. I would say that's a pretty conspicuous abandoned shack. If I can't even uh, pick the lock. It's a cool environment. Like the low hanging mist and stuff. Another elk. Looks like another one of these uh, prayer shrine thingies. Can I do anything here? 
Looks important, maybe not. I care not. But that's south. I want to go here. Never get tired of that orc heavy breathing. Nurn root makes a crazy sound when you get near it. And you take it and the sound stops. Zerp. Catching dragonflies. I've turned off all of my online notifications and stuff in case you've been wondering like, am I getting achievements or anything? I probably am. I care somewhat less about that stuff than I used to. Um, but I also mostly just don't want to interrupt this unnecessarily with little achievement pop-ups and whatnot. Achievement lists are often very spoilery anyway. Like even more so than watching a game being played for this long. Um, I mean, that's the cool, uh, that's one of the cool things about this game is that, yeah, you can watch it, um, watch someone else playing it for a long time like this, and obviously it's gonna, you know, it spoils aspects of the experience in the sense that you are seeing stuff that you, you know, that you will recognize when you play it yourself. But the experience of playing can vary so much from person to person in terms of where you go and what you do with your character and so on that um, it says a lot for the game really that I can sit here and play it for an entire day and then some and then you'll have barely seen any part of the main quest or any of that. But I feel, hey, cool, no more snow. I feel like we've uh, covered a good amount of ground. We've kind of gone in a what a counterclockwise pattern ac across the uh, the world of the game. And we've covered, you know, the top portion of it at least. We went east, we went all the way across the north. Um, there's still plenty more to come. We're only, we're more than halfway through, but not that much more. Whoa. I did not notice that before. That is pretty awesome. Reminds me of mist, of all things. Just hearing the little bell near the near the coast and whatnot. Hello. Elgin. Destroyed by a dragon. Hard to believe. I was there, it? man. Hello, chicken. Can't kick chickens in this game. <coughs> Harvest chicken's nest. Hello. See you until next time I sell you your own vegetables. A fine day to you, friend. May you die with a sword in your hand. That doesn't seem like a greeting. May you die with a sword in your hand, said really casually. 
See you later, Mom. May you die with a sword in your hands. Fast travel, dude. Hello. Until next time. Little Khajiit camp. Lock picking training. Um, so, how does it? Okay, I see. You can. Yeah, you could just pay to get better with a skill. I. Yeah, I don't May care. The road lead you to warm sands. The wind blows bitter cold in this place. See what I can sell or. Yeah, I've been meaning to sell off some of this junk. None of it sells for anything. Orcish bow. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why I'm carrying that. Whoa, that's worth a lot. Speechcraft improves just for selling stuff. I, I guess uh, it, it might have always worked that way. I totally don't remember that detail. Bounties. Treasure maps worth nothing. I guess, I don't know if I need those. Take a look. Sanctified Iron Greatsword. Causes undead to flee. Whatever. I hope that you will come to do business with us again. If you've come to Solitude to join the Legion, speak to Luca. If not, just keep your nose clean while you're here. We glam up like gold. That's a castle. Causes some, well, serving jail time causes some skills to lose their accumulated progress to the next value. That's actually not that bad. That's just like, if you are about to get 46 of something, it's not like you lose skill points. Position. You need to go home. Go home and stay there until you're home. Oh, I think this is an execution. Can I stop it? Oh. Those fools are actually. I don't like watching executions. You know? Does that make me strange? I just tried to stop an execution. I mean doesn't make me a terrible person. Hey, I thought that guy, like, jerk. I thought he surrendered, but apparently not. Well, I didn't really want it to end that way anyway, but I kind of wanted to intervene on that execution. Look at that helmet. The jagged crown. All right. They can't hurt Uncle Vlog here. Tell them we didn't do it. Position. Advar doesn't. Go home and stay here until your mother comes. Get on with it! Excuse me, I'm trying to watch a traitor against Lord Lucas Holland. Not betray his high king. Best she know now, That's my sister up there. Dog bear, you have all the time. Interrupting an execution is a serious crime. By opening that gate for Ulfric, you betrayed the people of Solitude. 
I don't know, man. I'm kind of on this guy's side. This person is busy. Come on. Expect me to watch this? Uh, I guess. <laughs> well, I... can't what she's <laughs> she's trying to yeah these guards are tough well, I'm gonna die. I guess I'm supposed to sit around and watch that guy get his head chopped off. That's kind of messed up. Whoa. And that is a scary zombie skeleton thing. They can't hurt Uncle Vlog here. Tell them he didn't do it. Position. Far you need to go home. Go home and stay there until your mother comes. You betrayed us. Rogvir always talked about his Sorry. honor. I need to pay attention Not to right my father. Your uncle is go. scum that Not betrayed right his now. high king. Death comes to the last. They're all hard. Go away. I'm Rogvir, not gonna watch. You helped Ulfric Stormcloak escape the city after he murdered High King Tori. By opening that gate for Ulfric, you betrayed the people of Solitude. There was no murder. Ulfric challenged Tori. He beat the High King in fair combat. I guess. Someone stole Such your sweet way. boy. Such is the ancient custom of Skyrim and all Nord. Hey, wind wi windmill. Um. On this day. It's a good defense, am I right? Yep. Okay, I think that's where I'm supposed to go. Wham. Oh, those guys. Yep. I used to be a black lord. Then I took an arrow in the knee. Now I just stand around in town. She's getting married soon. The reception will be public. Anyone in solitude should attend. Thalmor headquarters. Can I make that jump? No way. Altair can make that jump. Let's see. Yeah. Durr. I'm stuck. Oh god. Nah. It seemed like it was gonna be dramatic. Sure. I'll take a pamphlet. It's in here. Temple of the Divines. The 
this had better be worth the load screen. Hmm. It's pretty cool. Have you come seeking guidance? Okay. What do the shrines do? As High Priest of the Eight Divines, I bid you welcome. Not sure what... Oh, let's see. Active effects. Okay, increases your health by 25. I'll stick to that one, I guess. We welcome you to worship the Eight Freely. <laughs> Wander no more, for you are among friends. Take Knowledge of your divinity carry us through our daily trials. Is that like a Russian accent? It's can't. Place at Eastern European sounding. Take my advice again. Ah, what if I talk to Ernest? She's the brains of the The blessings of the eight divines upon you. How may I help you? It seems to you. The divines are listening. They. Yep. It's cool lighting. This area looks really nice. Remind us of our faith. What was that? Something shiny. Well, have you come seeking guidance? Nope. Nice crown. You move more slowly with your weapon drawn. I haven't noticed that. Is that really slower? Out with it. Maybe it's a little slower. You're a lot warmer and a lot happier with a belly full of meat. Um. Concentrate. The battlefield is full of distractions. Hmm. I'm trying to. Yeah, I'm here to talk to a dude about joining the Imperial so-and-sos. I guess that's the dude. Arcane Enchanter. Beds and cold mead. You look like you could use both. Planning an attack on White Run. Maybe it seems dry. Can I enchant stuff? That's not what my scouts report, sir. 
Every day more join his cause. Riften, Dawnstar, and Winterhold support him. It's not. Boss, it's a rebellion. Call it whatever you like, General. The man's going to try to take what. Uses the Legion's right to garrison troops in a city. On the other hand, he also. Well, if he wants to stand outside the protection of the. Mixed unit tactics. Sounds Why? exciting. Why? Be careful. Pillaged city. Keep an eye out for trouble. It's only a matter of time. Sir, you can't force a Nord to accept help. If Ulfric's making a move for Whiterun, then we can keep it within his control. Are my men now giving free reign to anyone who wanders into the castle? Apparently so. Do you have some reason to be here, citizen? I believe we've already met. Have we? Oh, oh, of course. You were at Helm's. One of the prisoners. Yes, sir. You Nord of Cincinnati. <laughs> sir. As you were. Yep, so he said. I've got a good feeling about you, and I don't often get this feeling. The warrior knows he must be proud. I'm not going to leave until you are with us. Perhaps I will give you some freedom. Pass that, and we'll talk about you joining me. I can handle anything you throw at me. It involves bandits, I'm in. You should loot it. Until next time. Yeah. Legion can use all the able bodies it can muster. We have our. I leave then. Okay. A saw. Well, um, I'm By holding able... on to Falkreath, we control access to the Reach, White Run, and the Rift. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alfred will try for it soon. We'll be there to stop him. The dungeon. It's not going to be awesome. It's going to be a bunch of, like, jail cells. Um,. I'm going to go do the thing that she asked me to do. Where was it? I have to clear out some fort. It's not that way over here, is it? Let's see. Um, yeah, notice, you know, I've been playing this game, well, since 8 a.m. Pacific, um, and my quest log is, like, actually really short, um, meaning... I've just been like, there's plenty to do even without, you know, taking quests um, and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, there's a whole lot, a whole lot going on here. Let's see. Uh, which one was it? I don't 
Prince's here. If it's arms or armor you need, see Baron in Castle Dower. Bloody good blacksmith, that one. Yes. I'll take my leave then. Where is it? Um... There. I'm not sure why I didn't get the marker on it, but. it out. Dark Brotherhood reference. The Dark Brotherhood quest line in Oblivion was um, probably, what yeah, it was my favorite quest line in that game. Um, very memorable. So I'm I'm curious to see how the uh, you know assuming there is any kind of counterpart in this game how it holds up. The thing that was funny about um, hey want to play tag? No. Pardon me. The thing that was funny about the Dark Brotherhood Why quest line in uh, no in Oblivion was that like you couldn't even really initiate it, it until you. Essentially murdered an innocent person and then slept, and then the Dark Brotherhood would come to you in your sleep uh, and invite you, <laughs> which was a really cool way to access the quest line. But it was also like, I'm sure a lot of people who played Oblivion, you know, they... Some people like to play these sorts of games as the good guy who never does anything wrong, and so... It was easy enough to, like, kill a dude by accident in that game, but... Um, it was one of the last of the major quest lines that I encountered personally, uh, cause I did play, you know, generally, um, you know, without just running around killing innocent people. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, you know, again, kind of speaks to the nature of this game that you could have such, like, awesome parts of it that... Some players just will never even see. I can't jump over that railing. That's why I look like a total idiot right there. That's strange. Adam Jenkins is crawling around in there. <laughs> 